Jules, you suggested in the last show that Thomas Tuchel might get sacked yeah. straight away if Bayern lost at home to Leipzig. Instead, they get a last-minute Harry Kane winner, just like he planned. Yeah. It's, by the way, that takes uh, Kane Soto to 27 and 23 games. So, club strategy is working. Well, I'm not sure if it's working because I thought for most of that game, it didn't look great. I mean, what I liked is that maybe to really think like, you know what, I can do whatever I want. Kimish. Right back, now, and I don't well, want to hear from you. To be fair, Masrawi and Bowie were both Yeah, were both I know, out, but. but still, you know, and maybe he's just thinking, nah, you know, I can take on, I take off anybody I want, when I want, a bit like Chris Enrique is doing with yeah. Mbappe, which we're going to mention later on the show. I don't know, I, they were not great. That first half was one of the worst first half. I mean, it was 45 minutes of my life that I would never get back. <laughs> Second half was better, slightly better. They got a win in the end. I think a draw would have probably been fair. Yeah, Sesco had, had some chances. Yeah, I mean, sort of came, two massive but... New York saves yeah. in the second half. So not perfect, but at least at least they won. More Bayern, Xabi Alonso says that he's not thinking about the next step in his career, Gab, which is kind of, we expected him to say, but do you believe him? No, oh, you're not I, I don't believe him for I don't believe him for one second. Don't think he's just focused on Leverkusen for now. No, there's no such thing. I mean, there, there's <laughs> no, honestly. Why? Because the the Liverpool job is open, yeah, and he knows that, um, and the Bayern job as well, yeah. And look, both and is, if by the way, on the Bayern job front, I've said this for many years, going back to, to I think it was Leverkusen at the time. I don't know if it was Heinkes or whoever. Like this is completely messed up. What happens in Germany where Bayern just sacked? It, it seems to happen every couple of years, right? Team sacks their manager in uh, in, in mid season. And they go to a direct rival, yeah. And because the guy has to commit or whatever, I mean, this is it, it, it's so it's so could, odd. It could be another Nagelsmann where they pay Leverkusen twenty five million, like they did to Leipzig, to get Xavi Alonso. But it's so odd that it happens during the season with a direct rival. Yeah, I mean, they're eight points clear. They're not eighty points clear. Yeah, right? yeah. Um, no, I don't. I don't believe him. I think. I think he must have. He 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 must be thinking. Uh, but I think he's also weighing up the possibility of of staying there and have and really giving it a go next season. You know, with a fit Victor Boniface all year long, who knows, right? If, if you won stays, the title, then what? I also think he knows. You can't. Yeah, if they win, yeah, sure. But why not? Why I, not? And also, I, I think from his perspective, if I'm Xabi Alonso, I do not take the Bayern job. Um, I don't why? even consider it. Really? So do you think it's easier to follow club at Liverpool right now than to take over Bayern after Tuchel? I think at Liverpool, and we're going to get to this later as well, I think at Liverpool you would be given time to do it. You would improve your skill set as a manager in a different league where you haven't you know, worked yet. He's worked in Spain, he's worked in Germany. Yeah. Um, at Bayern, you've seen that it's a snake pit. Well, yeah, look, I'm sorry, two years, you win two titles. He's almost guaranteed so to win the Bundesliga. So what? So because you come so to what? England... It's worth nothing. It's worth nothing. It's, 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 it's worth very, very little. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Unless you he win something progression in your... as a manager. But what it progression? Be... It's, it's progression. Is it's he growth. Ready? He's got, he will have had one full season as a manager. Is it, do you think he might feel ready for no, the no, Premier League to Sociedad face Pep? Before, no? and, uh, sorry? There wasn't he at Real Sociedad for... Well, I guess that was the under-19. We mean like a proper team. Yeah. So one full season and he's ready for the Premier League, Pep Guardiola, yeah. Mikel Arteta. One full season and he's Postico ready for Bayern and all the politics where you win, it, where you win the, the league, league and you get sacked And season. you'll have the best team in the country, which won't be the case at Liverpool, especially if Salah and Van Dijk leave in the summer. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think he is thinking about it. I, all things being equal, I would definitely, um, I, I would definitely look at Liverpool. The other thing too is you look like a complete villain if you go. If you go directly to Bayern now, right? Uh, yeah, but so I know people, people don't care it, about like it. We've seen Lewandowski do it. We've seen Neuer do it. We've seen so many people do it over the years. But I don't know. Maybe maybe, yeah, maybe I just idolize Xabi Alonso a little bit too much. This was way back on Friday, but Bayer Leverkusen beat Mainz two one, and Granit Xhaka scared the bejesus out of Xabi ah. Alonso by pretending he injured himself with his goal celebration. So good. Jules, were you amused? So it happened before. It's been done before. So it's not the first one. And if you don't, I, know, I don't remember celebrity situations where people pretend they're injured. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Brazil, I think. I think okay. Kubo might have done something similar, maybe, too. Oh, so, great goal to start with early in the game that set by Leverkusen, even if they were not flamboyant again and they haven't played great in the last few weeks anyway, apart from the Bayern game. Uh, and then, it looks like he did his hamstring on the shot 
and he was so early in the game. He hit the ball so hard, so hard, yeah. and so then he's he's holding his hamstring, and everybody from the bench, especially, but Frimpong is clearly in the. He's it on the joke. Yeah, on the joke because Frimpong is doing the same, and then it's actually a dance, and then Chabi Alonso goes because the medical staff was about to go <laughs> yeah, on the pitch, and Chabi goes like, "Oh, um, I mean, thirty six games. I'm, yeah, I've lost count even and it, beaten this season. It's just they, they, they they're going crazy." At a, at an incredible pace this year. I think they'll either come close to beating the record or beat the record. Yeah. I would assume, and, and this is why Bayern fans don't lose hope, is why I made the point before. I would assume they're going to take, inevitably, and maybe we're already seeing it, they can't play at this pace. And no, they the will drop league. more points, for sure. They will drop more yeah, points, yeah, which, sure. is, which is makes the Bayern situation even more absurd why you would do what you did. Yeah.